What is going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Before I get started on today's content, please go ahead and subscribe, like, all this good stuff. We're actually gonna be installing this brand new Body Club steering wheel. Man, slow the fuck down, bitch. Uh, the steering wheel just came yesterday. It's pretty cool. I will show you guys that later. But first, got that new husky toolbox for the steering wheel install what we're gonna need is a magnetic tray one of these sockets to take off the uh, negative terminal for the battery uh, and I would need one of this and one of this because the 10 millimeter um, hex bit will be used to take off the steering wheel bolt and I will also need a T30 bit. So before we do anything with the steering wheel, I actually want to take the negative terminal off because if I don't, then the car is gonna explode, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I unplugged the negative terminal, now I'm just gonna see if the car loses power, which it should be. Okay, that is beautiful. So now I can do the install real quick. Right here and on the other side, there is the um, T30 um, bolt that goes in. And it is held on by Loctite. You can man shrink it out. Uh, if you use an impact, it's probably gonna strip the uh, bolt. But if you just insert it in, and do it the old school way. I don't think you're gonna have an issue. But once you get it out, it's gonna go out. There it is. That bitch is locked tight on pretty good. There, right there. I'll actually put it on a, another secure location in case uh, I need it. Here's the second one. The uh, first time that you're taking off the steering wheel, it's gonna be pretty hard because like I said, the Loctite is securing it pretty good, but no issue at all uh, when you man strength it out. But now the airbag is loose and you're gonna wanna be very careful to take it off. In here, there are one, two, three wires um this one is the horn i believe and this two was for the electronic i could be wrong but either way uh, for these two you're going to want to pretty much pull it up because there are two white clips on either side or on both sides of each uh, clips or of each connector and you're going to grab it pull it up and then this one there is a bitch ass little clip you're just going to want to engage it and then pull it right out i managed to get it off it was just a very difficult thing to do again fingernails always help but when in doubt use pliers but once these are off you can see here you can also unplug this right here which will come right off and then you're going to want to loop this wire over like so and then what you're gonna do is set this to the side. It's very important, do not lose this. This is an expensive motherfucker. Bam! Grab one of these, stick it in here, and hope for the best. So, the impact wasn't good enough. Battery actually died. So what I did is that, <laughs> When in doubt, use the hair blow dryer because I stick the blow dryer pretty close to the bolt and then that heats up the bolt and in turn uh, heats up the Loctite and now I can actually um, remove this. So yeah, first attempt is gonna be pretty hard to take it off because that's just how it is. Loctite doing their thing. Um, once I put back everything on the new steering wheel, it's gonna be 36 foot-pounds for the 
uh, steering wheel bolts. So here is that right there. Once the uh, bolt is off, it may be a little bit hard to take off the steering wheel. So what you can do is just tap on the right one, two, on the left one, two, just probably two more for the road. One, two, one, two. It's very important to keep the uh, clock spring in um, a uh, centered position. So you know this is centered when this connection to the instruments is on top um, and this is on the left. And more importantly, it says top of an arrow pointing up. So now we're just going to work on this steering wheel, transfer the contents over to the new steering wheel. Here is the new motherfucking steering wheel. Ooh. On the old steering wheel, what you're gonna do is take off this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw which holds onto the ground, and this screw right there. So let me grab my cheat sheet so we can start making it look sexy. There are, let's see, one clip right there, one clip right there, and then I uh, think two more um, down here, and you're going to want to take off the uh, back piece. So once the plating is out, there's going to be um, two wires on either side so on the left it's going to be a white connector on the right is a light blue kind of connector and then there's a clip right there and right there just press it and pull it right out we're going to set this on the side and then next off we will be taking um, this off and how this one works is that there are this one um, that's a clip right here you just want to push it out and then these will come out there we go and it was this that we press on and it's slides right off so there is going to be a clip right here and right here on both sides and what you're going to do is engage both at the same time very slowly and if you do it correctly it's going to come off and it was this tab and this clip same on the other side just here and here um, it's gonna make uh, some weird sounds. It's gonna sound like it's breaking, but if you don't hoax smash it, it's gonna be totally fine. It comes out in one piece. The alternative way is to remove the silver trim piece first and then take out these, but it's just more work to do. So I just take both out at the same time. Kill two birds with one stone, but now all steering wheel can go fuck itself. And we're gonna transfer all of the uh, content to the new one. It's just gonna be the reverse of what we did to the uh, old steering wheel. So this comes first, and then bottom piece, and then back piece. You're gonna to wanna to take your time with this because you don't wanna mess things up at this point, but um, this is on. And now I'm just gonna align this so it can go in, in uh, the uh, holes. There we go. It's lined up pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna to turn to the back. Take this, and then you're gonna to want to reclip the uh, stuff to the right spot. So white goes on the right, blue goes on the left right there. So just clip her in. And once you clip things in, you're gonna hear a little confirmation uh, click. 
then I'm going to feed the wires through and line up the pegs. Alright, I took the liberty of hooking this horn wire to its box and also this wire to its box too. So now I want to screw all of the uh, screws back inside. Bam! All the contents are transferred, plugged in with the, the wiring. So now we're just gonna put it on there. Gonna slow the fuck down, GNC motherfucker. Okay, let's bring this bad boy inside. But first, let me take a selfie. So, when you feed the new steering wheel through this hub right here, you're gonna want to put these wires on the top hole right here. This peg goes on this side right here. Oh yeah, so this bad boy right here tore the boat down to 36 foot pounds. That's where you're gonna wanna be. So I put that torque spec in the bottom and the torque spec for the T30 uh, screw is gonna be about nine, 10 foot pounds. But what's important is that this be torqued down good because you don't want your car to get exposed in, uh, in traffic. And when you put back the airbag, you're gonna want to color match everything. So the gray goes with the gray plug, green goes with the green plug. Pretty simple and explanatory. Um, actually, first let me replug this right there. Okay. So this clips in, and you're gonna hear a nice click like that. And come on, bitch. Like that, and then this, I believe, just goes right inside here. And then you're just gonna wanna screw it in pretty good. There we go, and uh, it's on pretty good. One last thing to do is to. Take this and reconnect the battery. One last thing is to start it up. And um, these lights right here, they're totally normal, especially when you um, put your uh, negative terminal back. After a little drive, it's gonna go away. And test the horn. Perfect. Savage motherfucker. I actually just realized now that the most important part, second most important part is my uh, LEDs. So let me see about this. Oh, still works. Okay, we are in good hands. Body club steering wheel. So yeah. Hope you guys liked this little install video. Took me a good minute to take that um, bolt off for the uh, steering wheel. But it is torqued down, it is locked tight, it is good, everything is Gucci. And I'm not gonna die in traffic, so um, that's always a good thing to uh, know. Anywho, I will catch you guys on the next one. And uh, until then, stay chilly.